Hello, everybody, and welcome to Differential Discussions. I'm Melissa. And I'm Dave. And today we're going to talk to you about how to do a white cell estimate. This video is not for how to find a good area, those kinds of things, but you can click the link and go watch our video about how to find a good area for a diff. So let's get started with our white cell estimate. Mm -hmm. Yep. So okay. I think the first point, right, is to find a good area. <laughs> We've done that. Yep. Um, and then uh, it's a pretty straightforward process from here, right? Yeah. And let's just disclaim that we know that the number of fields that you count for this process may vary by institution and procedure. And also your multiplication factor will vary by what scope and your institution. So for the number of fields in our multiplication factor that's specific to us and our procedures. So just keep that in mind as we're doing the video. Yeah, that's a good point. So a lab would have validated this process yeah. and shown that it sounds and matches their uh, methods. Yeah, cool. Right. So it's a pretty straightforward procedure, right? Yep. Just going to count the number of white cell or nucleated cells, not yeah. white cells, any nucleated cells, because NRBCs, things like that, we would also count. Mm -hmm. And right. smudge cells will also count. Right. Yep. Yep. Because, you know, theoretically in the body, they are still cells. They've only smudged because of our smearing process. So we will count smudge cells as well. Right. And so because we're comparing to an analyzer that would have presumably saw that cell had we yes. not smudged it. Um, yes, you're right. That's, that's definitely the way to proceed. So, um, and then we, we're going to count about 10 fields. Yes. So we're going to count 10 fields. Do you want to keep track of the number in the field? <laughs> Yeah, I can do that. I gotta let's see if I have enough fingers and toes. Um, <laughs> but I'll keep a little tally here. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so in this field, um, mind you, we're doing this on 40x. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we prepped, found the field. Here we are on 40x, and this is where we're starting. And so this is our first of 10 fields. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this uh, in this field that we have here, let me just pull up my little annotation guy so I can annotate it. We have one cell here and we have one cell here. Got it. So two in this one. And now we want to move fields and we want to be careful not to overlap with the current field, right? Because then you wouldn't be counting distinct fields. Correct. So I'll usually try to find a visual anchor somewhere that's useful in the in the field and then move. Melissa has the really difficult task of uh, maneuvering the scope um, via camera. It's, it's not easy, ladies and gents. So we will, let's see how this goes. What direction? All right, that's my anchor. I'm watching my anchor. All right. Yeah. All right. And then we count one nucleated cell here, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. And it should be noted that I'm just moving to the next adjacent field. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't pick and choose. Cherry picking is bad for objective data gathering. Absolutely. And if, and if the next field has zero, then zero is my number. That's right. Yep. Uh, and I'm just moving, you know, if my slide looks like this, I'm sorry, my drawing techniques are not the best, right? And let's say here's where I started. Here's my feathered edge kind of thing. If I start here doing this process, I'm moving this way. Mm -hmm. And then if I get to the end, I'm going to move to the next adjacent field and move back in this direction. Mm -hmm. So that's how this process is going to look as I'm moving field to field to field to field. Mm -hmm. great, great point. Yeah, we want to be as systematic as possible about our scan. Yep, absolutely. Trying to watch my anchor and move the field at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's tricky. All right, here's the next field. All right, I count a big zero. Zero. All right. Come on. Here we are. Cool, another zero. Another zero. Okay. 
Zero. Lots of zeros. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Five fields? Yes. So, you know, we could do the math here. Uh, what do you think? Um, so, uh, the more data you collect, the better. And of course, this would reference back to whatever the procedure that was validated by the institution. Yeah. Um, but so just for the sake of us, uh, brevity, I should say, right? We'll just do the calculations of what we have. So I have a grand total of three. So let's see. The first field we had two. Yep. And then we added one. One. Yep. And then we added zero plus zero plus zero. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's zero. All right, so now my total here is three. And I'm going to divide that by the number of fields that I counted so that I can get an average. So I counted mm -hmm. five fields. You have a calculator, Dave? I do. I do have a calculator. Uh, so we got what, 0. 0.6? Is it three? Okay, three it's <clears throat> and then now we have 0. 0.6. And, and this gonna... is where we would take the uh, the factor yep. that would correspond to the microscope and the, the field that it's seeing. Um, and for the sake of this exercise, we're going to use 2000 will be our, our, our uh, WBC factor. So 2000 times 0. 0.6 uh, comes out to 1200. So 1200. Uh, white cells per microliter. Right. Yep. yep. Or 1.2 K per microliter. Right. right. As we, typical units we would use, right, for coming from an analyzer. And so this is a very useful technique. Um, you know, it frequently comes up where an analyzer might have a flag where it suspects that, hey, perhaps some of these cells uh, weren't, uh, um, uh, or, or, you know, it may feel it's not counting the, um, uh, correctly. Yeah, I'm trying to think about operator alerts that might be associated with uh, a WBC estimate. Uh, NRBC abnormal scattergram. Right, 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 right. see that a lot, especially in patients who have a lot of NRBCs or a lot of immature NRBCs, the ones that look more like lymphocytes mm -hmm. or more white cell-ish. That's when the analyzer will be like, mm -mm. I check this out, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's a WBC estimate. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like notifications whenever we post a new video. And feel free to reach out to us on social media or via email with comments or suggestions about future content. Thanks.